a newbie. This delivery isn't due for inspection. Huh? These ones addressed to Don Corneo? Yes. Welcome to Walmart, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. Lease is for one day. Payment in full up front. And oh, work over step the right up, else. step right up. It's the fully automated state-of-the-art. Maybe it's broken? Welcome to the world of tomorrow. Any item? No. Huh? What's that? Not working, you say? Huh. Maybe there's something wrong with the wiring. I think this is where they said to meet, isn't it? Hey, bro, this ain't no place to hang out. You feel me? Ain't nobody gonna give a shit if you get your throat cut here. <laughs> what happened with you know what? It's all taken care of. The only thing is, the newbie screwed up, got spotted by a tourist. Then you best see to that. Aren't you a curious cat, walking dark alleys? You've got balls, so I'll give you a pass. This once. Wait, you don't mean the newbie too, right? I said deal with it. Can't have this coming back on Samuel. You didn't see or hear anything. You get me? Wait, you don't mean the newbie too, right? I said deal with it. Can't have this coming back on <laughs> Bye, what lovely weather we're having. Oh, uh. They're ripping off you and me and everybody else. Sign up front? All I got is materia. Thanks, buddy. Something down wow. right wrong with this place. Oh, this place is full up too. Uh, can you believe? 
need them. Hold it. Best to steer clear of this alley. You may not like the people you find down here, and they may not like you. Oh. Do you give any thought to what you want to do next? Sharp though. Lifetime bans a lifetime ban. My apologies, sir. We are not ready to open at this time. The audience is part of the board. We have to help make it a great show. Because Shimmer's cracking down everything. Wait, you're just here for the honey uh, girls, aren't you? What? That's not true. I'm here for the girls and <laughs> Street just over there. You're not still wasting your gill at the Honeybee Inn, are you? <laughs> you bet I am. Found me a secret route in, one nobody don't know about. Only trouble is, it's filled with drunks and garbage. Only a select few even know. Are you sure about this man? Corneo's gonna use and abuse him. Give it to me, please. I'm begging you, miss. Get away from me before I scream. Like I give a shit. <laughs> that sense. I can't stand it. <laughs> you think? He's fine, just drunk. Like the rest of them. Am I right? Cornell has an understanding of the truth. It's a restaurant, if you can believe it. The owner's just kind of weird and quirky guy. He 
deserves only the best dishes. Honestly, this job isn't as easy as people think. It's a lot of custom. Yeah. A piping hot bun filled with the finest, most delicious. Chaos down there. Who's that? Hey, I'm talking to you. I said they're good. Try one. Pharmacy, but we stock other stuff too. Thanks a bunch. Yes, you. Do you have a place to stay this enchanted evening? We have the perfect room for a sweet-looking couple like you. How much? Cloud! <laughs> Just give me a holler when you change your mind. Welcome. Are you in need of accommodations? Have a safe trip. You know, I've heard from more than a few people that my son Johnny has been roaming the streets of Walmart. Before he leaves town, I need to make sure I deliver him his lucky pillow. I have faith in my boy, of course. But a growing man needs plenty of sleep. Sleep of good quality, no less. That's how mind and body stay healthy and active. In other words, this pillow is crucial to his health. <laughs> Up, step right up. It's the fully automated, state-of-the-art, item procurement machine. Get us All we gotta do hey, is get on now. Forget it. That old weapons vendor, total weirdo. He's not a bad guy.
Hey there, friend. Grab a seat. Any seat that's open. Relaxation, the sweet embrace of pretty little Bobby bean popcorn here. Get them while they're hot. Listen, I'm telling you, it's a hard lesson. Ready for it? Yeah. Of darts. I'm pretty good, you know. My dear beloved girls, I'm so sorry. Welcome to Wall Market's premier weapon shop. Do come again. Check it out. Uh... I think we might have found our man. And he's a gaudy one. Yeah.
Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Wall Market. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute, it's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Sure about this? If you've got any better ideas. Not really. So that's the way it is. <laughs> Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. Let me handle this. Curse my you wait out here, will. okay? Then why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that... You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Good evening. Oh. Hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required, and the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years?! All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes, well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare. But Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, 
but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Hey, are you nervous too? I know why you're here. One more. Come on. Only a select. <laughs> So, what kind of mischief you looking to get up to tonight? Not you two again. Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty, please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time we'll be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. And I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> yes, wrong. And you'll leave me in peace. Tails. Ed, you lose. <clears throat> hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, and not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? <sighs> Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. Hi guys, let's check out the town. Hold on, let me look at the guidebook. One more round, one more round. Oh, look at that club. What is it? I mean, yeah. Think you're too good for my funds? Come here! What the hell, man? Quit picking fights with the cut man! That's why it's real. I'm safe, the old fight! The two of you, step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm-hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> 
And what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, love of... Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services, then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... Hmm... Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! The strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back. I should warn you, this technique has certain risks. Huh? It's somewhat experimental. You may find it extremely pleasurable and rewarding. Or the opposite. Uh, wait. Absolutely not. You asked for this. Now take it like a man! Everything hurts. You'll enjoy it more next time. Do come again. How was it? Not now. Maybe not ever. Did something happen to you in there? Just... just give me a sec. Just one? Maybe a few minutes. Hmm. Think you'll make a habit of it? Alright then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm... Okay. Really? But you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? It's comfortable, isn't it? Cloud the fashion critic. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. Is there any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So... What do you say? All right. 
That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence, just don't get too cocky, okay? What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. How deep does this thing go, you think? I wonder how many people are fighting. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus, like you should. You two, wait here until it's time.
You two, wait here until it's time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know. So I signed up for the preliminaries and, well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. It's a gift from Don Corneo. Drink it, and they say you'll be raring to go for hours on end. If I had, maybe things would have gone differently for me. Maybe you should. It's yours if you want. How is it? It's thick. But you like it so much you couldn't possibly share, right? You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed. For our next match, we welcome two fighters, a young couple no less. Talk about a bad day! This is their first tournament, the bad first date, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! Bullshit. What's up with the pole? Gonna do a little dance for us, baby girl? Okay, now I'm mad. Zero, one of Walmart's own, a renowned master of beasts. Will his pet make a meal of our two challenges before our very eyes? They've already been given their appetizers. Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable. The demon talks of hell. The Penguin Stalker! You brought animals? Oh? First timers, huh? There's no rule that says you gotta fight man to man. We're in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Who will prevail in this brutal contest between man and beast? This could be over in an instant, so don't even blink. Without further ado, the fourth match of the first round begins now! You're not that special!
And the winners of our match are Cloud and Aaron! Contenders, please return to your waiting room. Well, that's one win down. Go team! What's wrong? The rules don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah. Wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. Yeah. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. That's what they call beginner's luck. But the next match won't be so easy. Ready to rock? Just remember, try not to die. For the second match in our spectacular semifinals, fresh from their first date with death, I present the lucky couple. We're like unlucky for the rest of us. Give it up once again for Cloud and Eric. Couple my ass! What the hell you two try to pull? You assholes cost me a fortune. Yeah. Opponents, reavers in this trap, thieves and killers through and through. Two criminal for common criminals, the worst of the worst. Ladies and gentlemen, check their pockets because they may have already robbed you blind. The most contemptible son of bitches this town of Wall Market, Bex Sorry. Don't. Ah! 
Exactly, but a lot. But somehow the winners of our match are once again Cloud and Aaron. That kid's really something. Well, of course he is. I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. <laughs> so have half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace, maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! <sighs> Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. <laughs> <laughs>